Hi, this is Page B Chef Danielle, and um, just recently I had um, one of my Facebook friends inbox me about um, an issue that she was having. Um, she's a fellow baker like myself, and she asked me, how do I deal with unsupportive friends and family? <laughs> um... So my question to her was, um, you know, how do you feel? You know, how do you feel about it? You know, not being supported by, you know, supported by your friends and family. And she says she felt heartbroken. And I said to her, yeah, I experienced that, you know, previously, but being that I've been doing this for so long, I've grown a thick skin. It, it doesn't bother me like it did when I first started. Um, I was really couldn't understand like why friends and family wouldn't support you, but I no longer think about it. I no longer ponder on it. I just keep doing what I'm doing. And my words to her was that for every person that doesn't support you, that should support you, God will send you five people to replace that one person. Um, he's going to send people your way and you're going to forge relationships with them, whether they be um, clients, whether they be mentors, whether they just be supportive to you. They be your supporters. They're going to be your cheerleaders. They're going to have the pom-poms out, they're going to share your stuff on social media, they're going to rap for you, they're going to go hard for you, um, just like you go for yourself. And, and a lot of times, they aren't friends and family. They are people that you just met, that you've known less than a year, less than a month, but because they believe in you and they see the passion that you have for what you do, they go hard and they rep for you. So my my response to her was um, allow God to heal your heart and put it back together. And I pray that God heals her and puts her heart back together and may she be successful at, at what she do. Um, may she keep going. And I'll say this to anybody. if Whether you do nails, do hair, crochet, you write, um, the people that you think are going to support you won't. That's just what it is for whatever reason. Um, I would like to have a, a, a psychologist <laughs> break this down for me as to why. But at this point in time of my life, I don't really care why they don't, you know. Because, like I said, for every person that hasn't supported me, God has put five, ten other people. I have so many people that support me. Some people that don't even, I've never even met in person. They share my stuff. They, they rep for me. They encourage me. They inbox me. They, they, they just all around cheerleaders for me. And I don't mean just being a client of mine. It doesn't, you know, you don't have to support someone financially. You could support someone spiritually, um, emotionally and mentally, those are important factors way more than someone purchasing something from you. It's having that mental, emotional support that you need to get you to your next level. So I say this, for every person that doesn't support you, God is going to send you five more people in their place. He will do it. Trust and believe. I've been doing this for as long as I've been doing this. And I've experienced this firsthand. He sends you all kinds of people from all different directions when you least suspect it. So don't worry. Don't fret. Don't cry. Um, allow God to piece your heart back together. And I want you to move forward. And don't worry about the non-supporters. Worry about those who actually are supporting you. And I say this with love in my heart. 
I, I love everyone and I have no animosity towards anyone who doesn't support me. I mean, you can grow up with somebody. You could be, went to daycare with somebody, lived next door to someone. You could have, uh, they could, could have babysat you when you were a kid. Don't expect them to support you. <laughs> if you think that uh, Miss Shirley, that used to babysit you, is now going to support your nail tech business to get her nails done, oh, that's that may not happen. And I'm not saying this is for everyone. And I'm not saying that every person in your family or in your circle is not going to support you. No, but don't be surprised by the, by the ones that don't support you. You know, you're going to see you a nail tech and you up and coming, you doing your thing, you're, you're fabulous at it. And then you see your cousin Cynthia on Facebook saying, girl, I just got my nails did by Tanya from so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so -and, -so. and you're like, what? I do nails and you couldn't support me? Trust me. Been there, done that. I got the t-shirt, the keychain, the coffee mug, and the tote bag. And uh, I'm about to get my hat in five minutes because guess what? People still ain't so going to support me. They still don't support me. People that I've known for years won't support me. But I still love them. But I'm over here. I don't have to deal with you, but I can love you from a distance. So with that being said, sister, you know who you are. Just stay strong. Keep persevering. Keep honing in on your craft. Go ahead and master your craft. And don't worry about the non-supporters. Because won't he do it, honey? He will.